This is a review of Zone's Sono Remote Control for the iPhone. As you can see, I already have it installed on this iPhone, uh, gotten via the App Store for $14.99. And I'll show you how it starts up. Um, once you have it installed, uh, it usually takes about 10 minutes to sync up your music, and then um, every subsequent uh, start just takes a couple seconds, really, uh, to locate your zones and get right in there. Uh, and as you can see, I'll click the Zones button here. It lists my two zones, Master Bedroom and Living Room. Um, we'll work with the master bedroom, the uh, zone behind me right here. And um, as you can see, it's a pretty simple interface. Uh, we have our artists here, our playlist, queue, and uh, more. Um, part of the more screen, you can also um, change things around. So you can have, say, you want to put albums down here instead of artists, you can do that. Um, this is this does most of the things that the remote does, um, the $400 remote. However, um, it is limited to the fact that you can't access Sirius um, inter uh, internet radio. You uh, are unable to access Rhapsody or uh, Pandora or Napster. Um, if you make playlists in these things, such as Rhapsody, you can access those playlists no problem, um, but you can't access them themselves. Um, you can access any playlist you've made, but you can't edit them, and it doesn't seem that you can make them quite yet. I assume these things will be uh, coming in the near future. Uh, especially the Sirius and Rhapsody support, hopefully, um, just because I use Sirius all the time on this. Uh, you can choose the zone pretty quick. Master Bedroom I'll choose. And we'll go to an artist. Um, we'll just choose a tribe called Quest. And off of Midnight Marauders, we'll hit some award tour. And that goes right into playing it. It adds it to your queue as well. Um, it doesn't have some of the subtleties of being able to add songs to a queue. If you click a song, it's going to play it. Um, and add it to your queue, but there's no choice just to add it to your queue, um, where it does give you the option to add whole albums to the queue, just not single songs. That's a little nuance, I'm sure, that will come in the uh, future. Um, quick responsive volume control. Quick pause control. Um, you know, that's what we're looking for. If you just, you know, if you don't have your remote on you and it's getting kind of loud or it's not loud enough, you want to be able to whip out your phone and turn up the volume. It's pretty great. Um, definitely worth the price. Um, like I said, you can add whole albums to the queue. Um, I'll do that in this case. And uh, when you hit add to the queue, it does immediately start playing it. Uh, or it should. Yeah, maybe it doesn't. And we'll go to the queue, actually. And as you can see, they're listed here. Um, showing icons uh, for the album art. And moving on, let's get out of the playlist. Um, and I have a playlist set up here. As you can see, you can list any ones that you've previously made. Um, this is probably like 200 song playlist um, that I made on my computer and mostly consisting of a mix of my archive and Rhapsody um, and as you see I'll click, click uh, Q and it lists all this It does take a little while to update sometimes, um, just depends on the strength of your Wi-Fi, as you can see mine's a little low right now, um, but in most cases it does show the album art, um, you can jump to the next song in the queue, um, definitely nice um, as far as functionality goes. Really with the uh, Zones application, it is a fairly inexpensive and uh, functional remote in a pinch. Um, if you don't want to buy a second one or you just need to turn the volume down or turn the system on, um, it's pretty excellent for what it does. Um, with the exception of um, missing Sirius and Rhapsody and you know the other service uh, support, it's pretty great and I look forward to uh, future updates.